Do you have an HP laptop? Yeah. Are your brightness keys not working? Uh, I guess not. Well, you've come to the right place. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. If your HP laptop brightness keys aren't working correctly, well, I've got a few solutions that'll pretty much guarantee a fix unless it's actually broken. First solution. Open up your laptop, and while you're hitting the brightness key up here, whether it's up or down, hold down function on the lower left-hand side of your laptop while you do it, and try that. Now, if that doesn't work, that means you've got the wrong driver. So in order to get the correct driver, first we're gonna have to figure out what model of laptop you have and then you'll be able to go and install the correct drivers. So in order to do that, there are a few ways, but the first and simplest way would be simply to turn your laptop around so that the back is facing you and it should somewhere on the back there tell you exactly what model it is. For instance, this one says it's the HP ZBook 14U G5. I believe that means it's a 14 inch laptop and it's a fifth generation. Now, if you're unlucky, you may need to screw off the back or pull it off in some fashion in order to get to the underside of the back where it could state it there as well. All right, so if your model number is not on the back of your laptop or anywhere else on your laptop, like the front near your fingers or anything like that, and you can't figure it out, the best way to figure out what model of laptop you have within Windows would be to hit Control shift escape and as long as you know whether it's a ZBook or EliteBook or what have you, if it says that anywhere on the laptop, then all you do is figure out what CPU you have. For instance, on my desktop I have an AMD Ryzen 9 3900X, but yours will probably be something like an Intel i5, let's say uh, 50, 500 or 6500 or anything along those lines. Now you're gonna to wanna to take that information and now let's say it, you have an Elite Book. You're gonna look up HP Elite Book and then the processor that you have. So let's look up i5 6300U and see what pops up. Now, Right here, okay, HP Elite Book 840G3. That's all you need to know. You click on it, just make sure that it has that i5-6300U, that's correct. And now all you have to do is match up if you have an Elite Book or Z Book with the last two digits being how large your screen is. The 40 would be 14 inch, 50 would be 15 inch. You get the idea and then the, and then the processor here tells you what generation it is. So that would be G3 for a six series because G1 was fourth gen. So G1 fourth gen, G2 fifth gen, G3 sixth gen. So with this information now, we can go copy and paste, copy and paste that right here and then just type in drivers. Now, once you've looked it up, it's gonna be the first result, hopefully, unless you got all kinds of ads. And you're gonna to wanna to go and scroll down to driver, keyboard, mouse, and input devices. Now, before you do this, make sure you have the correct Windows version because I'm on Windows 10. However, you might have Windows 7, so you'll have to click choose operating system, make sure it's 64-bit, and then you're gonna choose Windows and you might need to change it to Windows 7 if you have it, Windows 10 if you have that. And then once again, go down to driver, keyboard, mouse, and input devices, and you're gonna wanna download the HP Hotkey Support Driver. This is the one you want. Click Download, then click No Thanks. I will download and install manually. Now it's gonna start downloading. If you have Windows 10, it might say it's harmful. That's fine, it is not, so you can click Keep, and then you're gonna wanna do show in folder, and then once you get here, just double click it, 
If you have an older version, it might be within several folders and you'll have to look for the executable. In that case, just keep clicking until you find the executable that you're looking for. Once it opens up, click next. I accept next and then next. Oh, and shoot, I did not actually need to download that because I have a desktop. <laughs> but you get the idea. It'll start downloading those drivers. And then once it completes, you can then go ahead and click on the bottom left here, start, and you're gonna wanna do power restart. But after all of that, you should be good to go just as soon as you click that restart button, let it fully restart, then reopen and re-log into your account, and bang, it should just start working. Now, if it doesn't work still, you could have installed the wrong hotkey, so go ahead, double check to make sure you got the right version, the right laptop and all that, and then look and see if there's another hotkey download and try that one instead. It could be that, and then once again, restart, open it back up, and then it should work for you. Now, if you did all that and it didn't work, you might just be out of luck. You could try other versions that you think are wrong, but it might just be that your key is actually broken at that point. But hopefully that helped you out. If it did, be sure to drop a like and comment below if you were able to get it fixed. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.